Hello guys, and here's another Fusion 360 tutorial. And uh, in this one, we're going to be taking a look at constraints within a sketch. So I've got a triangle here, and it is set to be a certain distance from the top. And if we change this, say to 10, you'll see the whole triangle moves to the correct position. So if you want to make any adjustments in your sketch later on, which will have a, a knock-on effect on the rest of your object, then you must properly constrain your drawing. So how was it we're able to do this? Well, I'll go back in and edit this uh, sketch. We'll take off the constraints that I made. So basically here, uh, I, I drew the rectangle. I have a construction line here, which I set to 10. And then uh, I've got a 150 um, line here. There, okay, so we'll go back to our beginning. So I start off with my rectangle, constrained properly 40 by 55. I'm then going to draw a line from this top corner down and we'll make that 10. And uh, we'll make this into a construction line. And then I'm going to draw um, another line down here and we'll make this 25. That will be a normal line. Okay, we draw a cross, so again now this is properly constrained, you see, constrained with a 90 degree angle here, and finally, from this corner to here, now this is the important part, we must constrain the angle, so 47.17, and the angle is 148 degrees, so we must type that in. 148 degrees to make sure that it will stay at that angle. And now, if we change this number here, you see everything moves with it. Okay, so I hope that answers uh, a question that was posted on a Facebook user forum. Um, if you found this useful, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and head on over to fusion360tutorials.com for more information. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.